BYU struggled against Utah because of a lack of consistency. Taysom Hill, sometimes I think he he couldn't hit a hot air balloon if it landed at midfield. I don't know what what the issue is there. And when his receivers are dropping balls as well, that's a bit of a problem. Now, he still had 260 passing yards against the Utes, but just couldn't find the consistency. I think it was 18 of 48 in the throw uh, department, and that just will not get it done because they can't do it just on the ground. They have to diversify the offense. Robert and I said afterward that they tried real hard, and the Utes, uh, the Cougars are trying real hard, but that just didn't win the ball game tonight. you got to finish, and the Cougars couldn't do that, even though the numbers were pretty similar to what Utah was doing. But the difference was the Utes were able to capitalize on some scoring opportunities and the Cougars couldn't. Well, I said going into this game that Utah would win because they always do, and that's pretty much how it played out tonight. You can make an argument that BYU outplayed Utah, certainly statistically, but it all comes down to the fact that BYU couldn't do more with 443 total yards than the 13 points the Cougars scored. Obviously, Utah did a lot of good things, including the 74-yard pass to Drez Anderson that set up a touchdown in the first half. That was critical. The Utes also sustained a really nice drive at the end of the third quarter going into the fourth quarter that ultimately proved to be the difference in the game. But BYU uh, itself did a lot of good things. I I thought they showed some improvement on offense and, and moved the ball and the defense even though it gave up a fair amount of yards, held Utah to one out of 14 third down conversions. So, so BYU has some things to build on too. But, but ultimately, Utah gets the win. It's four in a row, and it means that BYU will have to live with this game for a long time. And, and now both teams are in a quest to, to, just to try to become bowl eligible. I said going into the season that if Utah could win all three in-state games against Utah State, Weber State, and BYU and, and just win three Pac-12 games, it would be a successful season. So that's where the Utes are right now. It was a great win for the Utah Utes tonight. The locker room was a crazy celebration. They've said that all along that this game hasn't uh, doesn't mean any more than any other game, but watching them celebrate at the end of that game, you can tell this one was a special one. Uh, a lot of emphasis was went out to the senior class for going 4-0 and against this team. And uh, a lot of seniors stepped up tonight, Trevor Riley, uh, led that defense that was much improved over a week ago. The uh, DB play, was, in particular on the corners, was excellent. So I think that was really the key to the game for the Utes tonight. And an offense that uh, got a little conservative a little too early, but uh, obviously was effective enough to win the game. So it was a huge celebration for the Utes tonight. Well, the Cougars, no other way to put it, the Utes just seem to have their number. Um, that's what I thought today going in. Uh, going into the game, this looked like BYU's best chance to beat Utah in probably the last, you know, five, six years. Uh, coming off of a bye week, coming off momentum from the Texas game, and uh, Utah just outplayed BYU in the red zone. I think if you look at this game, that's what it came down to. Travis Wilson threw two touchdown, short touchdown passes in the red zone whereas BYU got down there at least uh, several times, had to settle for field goals. Taysom Hill uh, did get him in the end zone once, um, but uh, just wasn't enough. Uh, uh, you got to credit Utah in this game. Their red zone defense, I think, was the difference. Um, the missed field goal by BYU certainly hurt. Um, Jamal Williams leaving the game in the third quarter was, a, was another blow for the Cougars, and of course they played without Spencer Hadley, the uh, the linebacker who was suspended earlier this week for five games. All in all, the Cougars outgained the Utes uh, by about 430 to 400 yards, roughly. Had more first downs. Uh, Utah was only one of 14 on third down conversions, yet pulled this game out. So uh, I think Robert and I, BYU offensive coordinator, probably summed it up best. He said they just beat us in the trenches, um, even though BYU rushed for, I think it was 182 yards. Uh, and I said we just got beat up front, and that was the difference in the game in his eyes. Uh, in my eyes, uh, Utah's red zone efficiency was, was the difference. Uh, play of the game was made by Utah's Drez Anderson, the receiver with a spectacular 74-yard 
uh, catch and run down to the one that set up one of Utah's touchdowns. Um, you usually don't see BYU's defense give up that sort of a big play, but they did this time, and so uh, that's what spelled the 2013 loss for the Cougars today or tonight here in Provo, their fourth straight loss to the to the Utes in the rivalry game. 18 for 48 through the air. That was Taysom Hill's numbers at, at the end of BYU's 20 to 13 loss to Utah on Saturday night. When you, com when you combine that with his completion percentage through three games, which is 34.7%, you see a quarterback in the passing game. No doubt, Taysom Hill is electric in the open field. He's one of the better runners out west for a quarterback. He's, he's a guy who can change the game uh, if he gets out of, out of the pocket and into the open field. But the Utes, they stacked the bots today, and they forced Hill to beat him with his arm, and he couldn't do it. That leads to questions for BYU. How did they fix the offense heading in the Friday's game against Middle Tennessee? What BYU did tonight, they hung in there. They were tough. Bronco Mendenhall said they were. But at the end of the day, they didn't make the plays needed to pull off a win over, over Utah. Now BYU's lost to the Utes four consecutive times. And a senior class hasn't. A senior class will depart Provo without having beaten the Utes. That's got to hurt for BYU.